I'm Isaac with Twit, and this is the HP Folio 13. This is one of HP's Ultrabooks. Let's take a quick look around. We've got a power port, gigabit Ethernet, HDMI, USB 3.0 slot, and an SD card slot, some indicator lights. Of course, there's no optical drive here because this is an Ultrabook. And on the other side, USB port and a headphone microphone combo port. Let's open this thing up. Since this is the Folio 13, guess what? It's got a 13 inch display. Now you can see from the front, there's a whole lot of bezel going around here. Looks like HP probably could have crammed a larger display. Also, the resolution, 1366 by 768, which is pretty decent for this kind of class of notebook. But we've seen for the Asus UX31, their ZenBook had a resolution of 1600 by 900. So I would have liked to have seen that a little higher. Move down to here, we have a speaker grill. See how this says Dolby Advanced Audio? This is incredibly loud. It is probably the loudest speakers I've ever heard on an Ultrabook. And the best thing is, it didn't distort at really high volume. So I was quite impressed with this. The bass response isn't great, but then again, you get some really loud audio out of this thing. Moving on to the keyboard, we have a soft finish on this chiclet keyboard, and the travel was really good. I mean, it was very comfortable to type on, and one of the best things about the keyboard, you don't notice it. If you don't notice it, that means they're doing their job right. This is also backlit. Moving to the trackpad, probably the best trackpad I've tried out on an Ultrabook so far. It handled multi-touch gestures, clicked fine, I could drag, I could do everything I wanted to right on this thing without any complaints. On the insides, there's a sticker you can clearly see. It's got an Intel Core i5 with Windows 7. So what does that mean? That means this thing was quite snappy. It also has 128 gigabyte SSD. If you take a look over here on the screen, you can see that there's a recovery partition, so you lose about 20 gigabytes to that, so you have about 100 gigabytes for your own usage. But because it's got the SSD and the Core i5 and it's an Ultrabook, watch it start up again. Resumes really fast. I gotta say, you open it up, it's ready to go, and it's ready to work. So I'm really impressed with that. Now, HP claims you can get nine and a quarter hours of battery life out of this device. I don't know if that's really true because when I tried it with my crazy tests, and my crazy tests involved full volume, full brightness, testing it out with, with streaming video and streaming audio, thing lasted about three and a half hours. So if you're gonna be more judicious, you probably can get five to six hours of battery life out of this because you know, you'd lower the brightness a little bit and odds are you're not gonna be blasting video and audio out of this all the time because this is quite a capable machine. For the pros, the build quality is sturdy. It's lightweight. The keyboard and trackpad are very good. Always like the fact that it's got an SD card slot, USB 3.0 and the speakers, again, a standout. Loud and clear, doesn't distort. As for cons, it's not a whole lot. Maybe the display resolution could be higher, but that's pretty much it. At $900, this Ultrabook, this HP Folio 13, is definitely a buy. It's probably very capable for most real world scenarios. I gotta say, I was quite impressed by the HP Folio 13. I'm Aya Zakhtar with Squid.